Let us now work on the determinant of the given matrix A by applying uh, some properties of determinants. No? More particularly, um, we transform this into either an upper or a lower triangular matrix. Because once we have done that, the determinant will simply be the product of the elements along the diagonal. So we determine the determinant of A. We write this as the absolute value of 1, 2, negative 1, and 0. 3, 0, 1, negative 1. 0, 1, negative 2, 1. And 1, 1, negative 1, 3. Okay, so this will be equal to the determinant of. We retain the first row, 1, 2, negative 1, 0. To make this into an upper triangular matrix, elements down below our entry, 1, must be 0. So we need to turn 3 and 1 elements below our leading entry into zeros. Okay? So we multiply row 1 by negative 3. And then add it to row 2, and the result returns back to row 2. So negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, and 3 is 0. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, and 0 is negative 6. Negative 3 times negative 1 is positive 3 and 1, 4. Negative 3 times 0 is 0, and negative 1 is negative 1. For the third row, since the first entry is already a 0, we just rewrite the elements of the third row. 0, 1, negative 2, and 1. And finally, we need to turn that 1 into a 0. So we multiply row 1 by negative 1 and add it to row 4, goes back to row 4. So negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 and 1 is 0. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 and 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1 and negative 1 is 0. Finally, negative 1 times 0 is 0 and 3 is 3. Okay. Okay, now I would like to interchange rows 3 and 4, or 2 and 3. Mm -hmm. Let me let me interchange row 2 and row 3. Okay, in interchanging two rows, there will be an implication. It will change the determinant by a negative sign, right? So we need to prefix the entire determinant by negative 1 or by a negative sign because we cannot just interchange rows. No? Interchanging two rows means that the determinant will change so we need to multiply it by negative 1. Okay? So we write row 1, 1, 2, negative 1, 0 our new row 2 will be 0, 1, negative 2, 1. Our new row 3 is 0, negative 6, 4, and negative 1. And row 4 is still 0, negative 1, 0, and 3. Okay. Now, I need to turn negative 6 and negative 1 into zeros. Okay? In order to come up, in order to um, yeah, to come up with an upper triangular matrix. So, let me rewrite again rows one and two. One, two, negative one, zero, zero, one, negative two, and one. And I need to multiply row two by positive six and add it to row three. So it goes back to row 3. 
So 6 times 0 is 0 and 0 is 0. 6 times 1 is 6 minus 6 is 0. 6 times negative 2 is negative 12 and 4 is negative 8. 6 times 1 is 6 and negative 1 is 5. Then negative 1, second entry in the fourth row, negative 1 should turn into a 0. Multiply again, row 2 by negative 1. Okay? Or we just add, no? we just add row 2 and row 4. So what we are multiplying to row 2 is 1. And then add it to row 4, rows back to row 4. So we just add row 2 and row 4. 0 and 0, 0. 1 and negative 1, 0. Negative 2 and 0 is negative 2. 1 and 3 is 4. Okay. Now, I want to interchange rows 3 and 4. Row 3 and row 4. It will be manageable. Uh, row 4 is more manageable. It involves smaller numbers, negative 2 and 4. So, and if we interchange two rows, what again is the implication? It will make the determinant negative. So, negative times negative. The first negative is for the first time we interchange rows 2 and 3. And the, other, the second negative is when we interchange rows 3 and 4. Okay? So, 1, 2, negative 1, 0. 0, 1, negative 2, 1, 0, 0, negative 2, 4, and 0, 0, negative 8, 5. Okay? Two negatives, that would be positive. Let me rewrite the first three rows again. 1, 2, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, negative 2, and 1, 0, 0, negative 2, and 4. What do I need to multiply to row 3? So that the element down below negative 2, which is negative 8, will turn into a 0. So multiply row 3 by negative 4. And add it to row 4 goes back to row 4. Okay, let us do that. 0 times negative 4 is negative 4. 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 times negative 4 is 0 and 0 is 0. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8 minus 8 is 0. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. Negative 16 plus 5 is negative 11. At this point, you can see that we already have an upper triangular matrix. Okay? And so, the determinant of A will just be the product of 1, 1, negative 2, and negative 11, which is equal to positive 22. Okay? So, you work on the determinant of the given matrix. find the determinant of A by using the properties of determinants. Now, 